Uh, yeah, I mean, obviously, for from our side of thing, uh, things, a very good uh, good home win. Uh, I thought, especially first half, played some really good, uh, really good stuff, and, and getting the two goals. Um, but it's always good to get uh, you know three points out of a, a game like this when uh, I felt we we dominated the match and and, and played well. It was three 0 so pretty good. <laughs> no, yeah, we had a spell a little bit in the. Uh, start of the first half when it was kind of a dull game, which was not that we give them a bunch of chances, but we didn't play like we played in the first half. But I think sometimes that's normal. Um, you know, we're trying to protect the lead. They're trying to maybe get into it a little bit. But we, we stopped them playing at least, which is, which is a change to the New York game when we allowed them to play. Um, I thought we did a great job of everything tonight. Just the spirit, the will to win. Um, Obviously, the red card, again, always changes games, but I still felt that we, we played well um, in that first half to, to obviously go two up and then, um, you know, maintain that and win a good home win of 3 nil. Three nil. You've talked about uh, the team's inability to put a full 90 minutes together. Do you think that's the closest they've come to doing that yet this season? Uh, yeah, I would, I would think so. You know, I have to watch it over again, but... Um, you know, we, we, I don't know their ten men, but we limited their chances pretty pretty well, and I think that's always a good sign of a team. You know, they didn't really have many looks. Um, you know, obviously they're a dangerous team, um, but you know the way we played, especially first half, I didn't think they got much of the ball, and I don't know what the stats were, but I think it it felt pretty comfortable. Um, and it's no disrespect to, to Montreal at all. It's just we play well, and that was good. Um, again, I think that. It's a building block, and it's game eleven. I still feel, still feel we have, you know, some room for growth. But uh, the best thing, you know, the good thing is we we got a great home win. Now we look forward to Wednesday night, and then we look forward to obviously next Saturday night. You know, here against another conference opponent. So, you know, things are feeling pretty good. But obviously, that it sometimes kicks you in the teeth when you you think you're doing okay. But uh, I'm very happy with the guys tonight. Really good demeanor. I thought the if you look at the subs that come on, made a, a huge difference again. Not in the scoring, but just in the play. They're all enthusiastic. They want to get on. They want to play. You know, I think we've got a good core that, that that's that's moving in the right direction. Just looking forward to the next three games without uh, Sean. How do you uh, fill that role, or how do you fill that uh, gap while he's gone with an injury? Uh, well, I'm not going to give the team away, team selection away, but I think we have enough candidates um, to come on and and, and play in, in in Sean's absence. I thought Sean played. With, well tonight without maybe getting the, the last touch again for him. But he's a driving force. Like I said, you know, he drives teams on. And I felt he did that tonight for us. He's, he's busy. He's always tricky. He picks the right pass. You know, he, he's good. Um, we'll figure it out. You know, it, it's good for Sean to, to have a good win for him. Um, not just him, us as a club, but him. He can go away now and enjoy his international um, duty, trying to make the European Championships, which is you know, important to him um, in his career, and um, hopefully we can get some wins and, and keep going when he re for when he returns.